Graph the function on your own paper, then choose the correct graph. So this is a base e, and there is no negative sign in front of the x here, so it's exponential growth. We're going to make our little t-chart, x, y, negative 1, 0, and then 1. And our t-chart is based on y equals e to the x, and then we're going to apply the shift afterwards. So let's do the inputs and outputs. e to the negative 1, that's about 1 third. e to the 0 is 1, and e to the 1 is about 2.7. I'm just estimating here for our graphing purposes. So negative 1 and 1 third, that's about right there. 0, 1, and then 1, 2.7, that's about right there. So clearly you can see this would be exponential growth. Continue up that way. And the asymptote is y equals 0, so it will gradually go down close to that. All right, so that's the unshifted version of y equals e to the x. Now let's look at the shift. x minus 2, that means it's going to be 2 to the right. And then the plus 3 means 3 up. So we're going to take each of these three points that we plotted and shift them and also shift the asymptote. So negative 1, 1 third, we're going to take that 2 to the right and then 1, 2, 3 up, about right there. And then 0, 1, 2 to the right, and 3 up, right there. 1, 2.7, 2 to the right, and then 1, 2, 3 up, so about right there. And the asymptote goes 3 up also. So about like that. Now we'll just draw the curve. Okay, so there's a sketch of y equals e to the x minus 2 plus 3.